Father, we reverence your holy name. Jehovah, Lord, we love you. And we've come to honor your great name. Father, we say, let your name be adored and worshipped, Lord, this morning. Abba, Father, King of glory. Lord, we welcome your presence, O oh God. Holy Spirit of the living God, we welcome you in our midst. Thank you, Father, O oh God. Even as we praise you this morning, O oh God, let your name be lifted high. Like never before, O oh God. Let your name, O oh Jehovah, King of glory, be exalted, O oh God. Father, we join the host of heaven. We join the angels, the 24 elders, O oh God. And we say, holy, holy are thou, O oh God. Father, we declare worthy is your name, O oh God. Thou King of glory, blessed be your name. In Jesus' glorious name we pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen, hallelujah, amen, hallelujah, amen, sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah, hallelujah, amen, hallelujah, amen, hallelujah, sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah, hallelujah, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We want Sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are the mighty God. The great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, say, the mighty God, I pray, I am. hallelujah, hallelujah, you are the mighty God, you are the great I am, I say, hallelujah, hallelujah, mighty God, hey. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Say, mighty God. Hey. Hallelujah. 
Above every other name we say, you alone desire. Your name is highly lifted up. Above every other name we say. You are the same yesterday. Today and forevermore we say. Mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah. We call you Eze, Eze, Eze. Highly lifted up above every other name we say. You are, yeah. you are the miracle walking God. Our power belongs to you. We call it safe. You are, ah. are the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. We say. I call you the mighty God. The greater I am will say. We call you Eze. You Lord, you Lord, you Lord, I want it to be praised. Jesus, whenever I call your name, 
You make a way. Your name is a strong tower. Jesus, way maker. Your name is a way maker. Holy you, holy you are. Yeah, 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 yeah. To the Lord, a joyful song. I will praise His name, for the Lord is good. Amen. I will sing unto the Lord, a joyful song. I will praise His name, for the Lord is good. Amen. I will praise his name for the Lord is good. Amen. I will sing unto the Lord a joyful song. I will sing unto the Lord a joyful song. I will praise his name for the Lord is good. Amen. I 
Hallelujah, Amen. Hallelujah, Amen. Hallelujah, Amen. Sing Hallelujah, sing Hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, amen. Sing hallelujah. Hallelujah, amen. 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 Hey, 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 hey,
Jesus, I have confidence in you. Anytime and anywhere, I have confidence in you. team you may be seated but stay close we will be coming back good morning well praise the lord good morning everyone praise the lord happy to be back in the house of the lord amen all right well you know i don't know what's with these lights they're right in my face you need these lights to be in my face. <laughs> I don't know. You can press, you can put them up here someplace, but you know, not the way we used to have them. Anyway, um, good to see every one of you. Uh, I don't know where everybody else is at this morning, but those of you that are here, good to see you. As you know, uh, my wife and I, we traveled out for several weeks, maybe three weeks or so. I think we were gone at least three Sundays. Um, but we're glad to be back. Hallelujah. And I know that uh, Brother Ken and Sister Rosemary also, uh, you know, after we left, they left, and they came back before we came back. <laughs> so... Their trip was even shorter than ours. So I, I really can't see with these slides. Is Rosemary over there? Ah, you're there. These slides are really in my face. You know, I know you said you, had, you wanted to give a testimony, so I'm going to let you do that. I'm going to turn these slides. Amen. Amen. Our God is good. I said our God is good. We serve a living God. There is nothing impossible for God to do. You know, he's the everlasting God. He's the ancient of days. He's the beginning and he's the end. You know, so I want to give God all the glory. I want to give God all the praise for Johnny Mercy's for his goodness in our lives. Like the pastor said, my husband and I traveled and it would be basically jetted in and out. That was like the fastest and shortest international flight we'd ever done. Um, but we thank God. We went for my mom's um, funeral and to the glory of God, everything went well. You know, God made everything perfect. You know, our trip leaving from Phoenix to Nigeria was one of the smoothest transits or travel times we've ever had. It was just easy, no problems. The airplane was just amazing. And just uh, flying, I would always think of what Pastor, you know, had 
you know, prayed for us. And that word always stuck with me, like flying on eagle's wings. That's how that trip was going to Nigeria. I met my family. Everybody was fine. Even the trip um, going from, um, going from uh, Lagos to Imo State, which is um, the state where we're from, where we buried my mom, the trip was also easy, no problem. Um, but I want to give God the glory because he went before us. Even though we didn't understand why my mom had to go so soon, but I know it's, it's his, it was his plan. You know, all things work together for our good. We can't understand everything because we're not God. He has seen the beginning from the end. Um, during that week, we were supposed to have my mom's funeral. Uh, I don't know, maybe some of you follow the Nigerian politics with the IPOB. Um, IPOB had instituted a four-day stay-at-home order restriction where you couldn't travel. My mom's funeral was on, was on a Friday, and the ban was supposed to start from Sunday. Sunday till Wednesday. And keep in mind, we had things to do. We had just come in the weekend before. My husband and I came in on the Friday. Saturday was her service of songs in Lagos, and Sunday we were supposed to travel to Oweri. So we're like, we'll just travel. <laughs> we'll go. <laughs> Even though we're not sure if the flight was going to hold, but God made it possible, we went. And as we landed, you know, dr uh, driving from the airport, um, driving from the airport to uh, where we're staying in Oweri, that was when we heard that IPOP had lifted that ban, you know. There was not going to be any stay-at-home restriction orders and people could move around, which was like a big lifesaver. Things needed to, I don't know how many people have had to, to um, go through any kind of ceremony or wedding or funeral or something in Nigeria, there's always activity leading up to that day. Even on that day, you, there's still activity. Things you thought had been in place were not in place. So we needed, we needed to move. We needed things to be um, mobile. But thank God that was the first miracle things opened up. We were able to do what we needed to do, whatever transactions we needed to do. And <laughs> the challenging part was where... Um, my brother was kind of like in communications with my, you know, my, my dad's uh, kingsman. And they were telling us that, ah, that day um, was supposed, the Friday of my mom's funeral, there was supposed to be like a heavy downpour of rain and that we needed to appease the rainmakers. And this just reminded me of Brother Emma's testimony. When he went for his mom's funeral, they were telling them that, oh, he needed to do all this, whatever, rituals or appease whatever nonsense they needed to do to appease some rainmaker. And I remember my brother coming and telling us, and we're like, absolutely not. Like, that is not even something we even have to even talk about. What is the point of doing that when we're serving the creator? You know, there's no need for that. We've already prayed. That day is going to be beautiful. It's going to be perfect. I don't know, Pastor Matt or uh, Mom Abel will tell you, in Nigeria, this past few months, has been rain, exceptional rain. I don't know why it's still raining by this time in Nigeria. It's typically Hamatan season. But it rained. Even when we got to the east, it rained. Almost every day it was raining. But we believe that particular Friday, even though the forecast, I was looking at the app, it didn't say rain, but it was like super, um, what do you call it? It's, it was going to be um, foggy and dark and gloomy or whatever. But I'm like, no, not that day. Because we've prayed, we've prayed, we've fasted. God, I mean, <laughs> he was showing himself strong. My sister was telling me that it seemed like it was a test. Because that Friday morning, yes, we woke up. It had rained the night before. It was kind of like cloudy. But I tell you, by afternoon, the kind of sun that, sh that shone, you know, I think my makeup was melting. Those of you that might see the video, you will see it was heavy, like beautiful sunlight. Beautiful, so bright. And I just felt my mom's presence. I felt that even illumination. She was just radiating down on us that no matter what, no plan of the enemy, nothing, no weapon, like the Bible said, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. We even, we, he even revealed to us our, how should you call it, friendly enemies that were coming in, from, in form of like sheep, but there were wolves coming to plot whatever it was. You know, maybe shaking somebody's hand or sh hugging somebody or taking something. It would happen to them, not us. God revealed it to us. Both male, both female. I mean, God basically neutralized the power of the enemy. You know, God just went before us, made everything perfect. 
people that came to come and either insinuate or plant nonsense or whatever it was they were doing, they were just basically halted in their steps. It was like they could see my mom, and so they couldn't even come close to us. God was in front of us. He was behind us. It was amazing. Even when my mom was lying in state, because I was, I'm the oldest daughter, so I was kind of like busy on that Friday, and um, we needed to go lying in state listening to the minister preaching. My siblings were like, Daddy doesn't want to look at my mom because they had opened up um, the coffin she was laying in. And we're like, Daddy doesn't want to look at her. Like, why? I was like, calm down. And he'll, he'll be fine. I mean, what do you mean Daddy doesn't want to look at her? It was later he was telling me that the reason he couldn't look at my mom's face is because it was shining like, like a glorious like sun. Like, he couldn't really look at her because she was just glowing, you know? And so he, he just had that assurance that my mom was in, the, was in heaven, was in the bosom of the Lord, and her presence was there. God was there. God just came through for us. We had an amazing, amazing um, event. So I want to give glory to God for that. Another thing that I was going to share, Pastor, I know I'm almost past my seven, sorry, sorry. He said, keep it short, seven to eight minutes. Well, as those of you know, I'm in medical school. I had a short amount of time um, to be out of school to attend my mom's funeral. Thinking that I could study <laughs> while I was in Nigeria, I took all my books. <laughs> I think that almost took like half of my suitcase. I took all my books, laptop, that, okay, I'm going to try and study while I was there. It didn't happen. There was no way. And coming back that Sunday, we got in Sunday. I had an exam on Monday, but I petitioned the school to kind of like shift it back for me to Wednesday. But work, school, school work that usually most of you don't see me in church because I'm always like having to study. Things that took me normally two, day, two weeks to study for, I had less than three days to study and prepare for. Weeks worth of lectures. And most of you that are in school know you have to do that like a two or three pass to master whatever material you were reading. I didn't have that luxury. I only had Sunday night and I came in Sunday afternoon, Monday, Tuesday, to study two weeks worth of material and go and test on Wednesday. But to the glory of God, I don't know how he did it. My husband was just checking up on me, even on the exam. I don't know how the Lord came through. I think it was my mom. I don't know what happened. But this exam, that was the highest score I'd ever gotten all through medical school. I don't know how it happened. I don't know how it happened. And my husband was like, how was the exam? I was like, I don't even know how to say the score that I got, I know it wasn't me writing that exam. I know it was the Lord. I know it was my mom. You know, I, I, I was speechless. So I just want to thank God because the impossible things, Im miraculous things that I could never imagine, God made it happen for us. God made it happen for us. My children, they were here going back and forth, back and forth to take care of the little one because he wasn't, I mean, he's not so little. He couldn't come with us. But, you know, on that trip, they would sometimes be on that road two times, three times a day, going back and forth, picking him up from school, going back to school. God protected them. He saw them through the exams. He protected them. You know, we came back. They were in good health. Only for us to find out that the airport that we landed in yesterday, they had like a gunshot attack or whatever. But God was with us. Everything went smoothly. And I also want to thank the burden of this church. I haven't had a time to properly thank you all because after my mom's service of songs, I just had schoolwork. I couldn't be at church anymore. But my husband and I didn't even have to spend a dime. The sisters of this church, please, I don't want to offend anybody if I don't miss, if I miss your names, but Sister Precious, Sister Chioma, Sister Esther, Sister Bukola, she, I mean, Sister Nifi, they were here like the night before till like almost 8 or 9 p.m. And they didn't even let me know what was going on. I just, they said, show up. Don't worry about anything. Everything was in excess. Food, drinks, programs, people. They took care of everything. Brother um, Ike's wife, Sister Tina, I don't know if she's in the house. A lot of people, people work behind the scenes. Members of this church just came through. Just, I mean, and I could feel the love. People that would come to my house, you know, feed me in Basically, feed me. Sister Bola is not here, but she fed. She brought like food that will last me for like a whole month. You know, brought food. People. I mean, it was just unreal. I didn't feel alone. I felt so much love and warmth from each and every one of you. I just want to say thank you. If I missed your name, I'm so sorry. I, I 
can't really think of everybody right now, but everybody, every single one of you, every single one of you came through for me and my family. You just held us up so much, called, texted, visited. I'm grateful. May God bless each and every one of you. And I know that the Lord will continue to reward you and be, you know, be your help at your time of need. Um, I'm sorry if I missed anybody's name. I'm so sorry. But every one of you in my heart, you're special. I love you all. Thank you for this ministry, you know, for your financial support. It was amazing. Amazing. You all made the event successful. Both the ones we had here in Nigeria, in, uh, in the U.S., plus the ones we had in Nigeria. Even when we were there, we would have text. Okay, Pastor, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> but thank you all. God bless you. God bless you. Praise God. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Beautiful, beautiful testimony. Um, we needed to hear that testimony. It's not really testimony day. You know, so the service uh, is going a little differently. So be patient with us, you know, because these testimonies need to come out in a timely way. Um, so thank God for all of those testimonies. Um, my wife also, we traveled together. Uh, she has some testimonies. Uh, while I'm singing this song, she can come up and give her testimony. And, uh, you know, let's try to keep it brief. Otherwise, I won't have time at all to say anything today. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What shall I say unto the Lord? All I have to say is that to me. What shall I say unto the Lord? All I have to say is thank you, Lord. And Jesus loves us so much. Jesus, you love me so much, oh. So much, oh. So much, oh. Excellent love, oh. What can I say? Jesus loves us so much. All right. So we also went to Nigeria for about two weeks plus, And the Lord was there. It was before us. It was after us. Uh, since we started thinking about going, uh, before, before now, we have not gone in four years. My husband and I usually go uh, every year to, um, you know, encourage the brethren to minister with, with them, to, uh, to be with them, and also to just spend time in our motherland. So um, we, we put it off because of the shutdown and the whatever is going on in the country. So we didn't travel for about four years, so we decided to go. At first, I thought, what are we thinking about, going to Nigeria? When I, myself, would tell people, don't go. Uh, people over there, I hear people say, don't come. The place is not good. So many, we see so many things in the news, in the WhatsApp messages. But you know what? The Lord said to me, they do not count their life dear unto them. If you cannot count your life so dear that you can't do what God wants you to do. So at that point, I just say, you know what? We're going to go. And the Lord is going to go with us, go before us, come after us. And that was exactly what he did. And uh, the Lord has told me before, even if you go to Nigeria one million times, I will be with you. Because I will never leave you nor forsake you. And I believe so. So we went. We were surrounded with favor right from the airport. We were just, as soon as they saw us, I don't know what made my husband wear his, um, what's it called? The, uh, the hat for his, uh, for his school um, 50th anniversary or whatever it is. And then as soon as they saw, oh, 50 years. Yeah. And they, they just, they, I mean, Nigerian people, they show a lot of respect. Right there, they say, oh, mom and dad, come this way pull us out of the crowd and allowed us to go before everybody while everybody was coming out of the plane. That was the first favor that we got started with. And my husband said, hey, here comes the favor. We, I mean, we were just we were about the first person to come out. And then we got to the uh, other people. They didn't even bother us, ask us any. They just cleared us to go. And then, you know, the Lord was just, I mean, 
all the problems, like, oh, what did you bring? What did, they didn't ask us all those questions. They just uh, passed us like that. So we got our luggages. Unfortunately, there was a little glitch. They called us back. You know, they didn't, we didn't do the fingerprint thing, and then we, we went. So we passed on, and we went to, we spent a day or two in Lagos, and then we were, uh, then there comes the, the devil. You know what? But the Lord is waiting. Because he has gone ahead. Uh, as we were going from Ibadan, uh, from Lagos to Ibadan, our vehicle just packed up in the middle of nowhere. And <laughs> I remember the Lord has warned me concerning this thing in a, in a dream. Because we, before you go to Nigeria, you better pray and fast very well. <laughs> because you don't know. So, and the Lord showed me uh, that the body was going to be with us, no matter what. So, um, all of a sudden, the Lord just sent uh, help. You know, we call the brethren. Our car is in the middle of nowhere. We don't know what to do. And you know what that means in the traveling in Nigeria and you're in the middle of the, in the, there's nobody around. Uh, anything can happen. People can jump out of the bush and whatever. You don't know what happened. You know, we just saw smoke and the car just packed up. So um, we called and then the brethren rally around. Uh, one of our sons, you know, came and helped us call the mechanic. The good thing about Nigeria, they are mechanics, very savvy. They know what they're doing. If your car broke down, they come in there, they fix it. And, and God just sent angels to, to help us. So this brother came, he fixed the car, the, and we started driving. When we got to, um, then another son of our brethren came with us. He, ca he came in the car, he was going to Ibadan. So he came, and then we got to, um, as soon as we got to our place, he went to his own place. So when we got there, we got home, uh, we had a lot of luggages, and we needed help. Then we have found another young man. I said, can you help us? He said, he, he came out, he helped us. We packed all our things inside. Uh, we couldn't open our front door because we have not been in that house for four years or so. So the, the door and everything, you know, didn't open. But we went through the back door anyway. As soon as we finished packing the last bag, this heavy downpour of rain just started raining. It was just like the Lord just waited for us to enter the house before that rain. If it had started raining before then, it would have been a, a real terrible thing. So that's another, you know, how the Lord was watching out for us. Also, I want to really thank the brethren for their prayers. You know, we, they prayed for us here. The sisters are praying. I, you know, I trusted <laughs> my sister's prayer line. Every time I think, I say, those sisters are praying. <laughs> they are praying for us, you know, uh, because the prayer of the saints avail much. I believe so much when we are praying, because I know what I do when people travel. I pray with my whole heart for them, and I know the brethren will do the same for me. So, um, the Lord is good. And then, another thing that the Lord made me clearly was the fact that he is the good shepherd. You know what a good shepherd does? He just guides the sheep wherever they go. It doesn't matter. The same God that is here with us in America is the same God in Nigeria. The way he's watching us here is the way he's watching us in, Niger in Nigeria. So the Lord told me, I am your good shepherd wherever you are. Whether you are here in America or in Nigeria, I am watching you. I am guiding you. My, uh, my rod and my staff, they comfort you. And I just felt the comfort of the Lord. You know, and he just guided us throughout our journey. There was no stress. And one other thing that I feel anytime I go to Nigeria, my health just changes. My health just changes. I guess I feel so good. I feel so rested. I, feel, I think it's because of the moist in Nigeria and Arizona is so dry. So I just feel like, my goodness, I'm back home and I yeah, just sleep and rested and everything. So that's a testimony on its own. So our journey, the journey mercies, the plane, oh my goodness, the plane ride was awesome. Very long journey. We took a long route. It's like Israelite journey, but it was very restful because um, my dear husband was so uh, gracious to me to, you know, ask me to come along with him. And we went on a very good, relaxing uh, journey, which is 
You know, I didn't even want us to. <laughs> I didn't want it to end. <laughs> That's how relaxing, and they, were, they just spoiled us inside the plane. You know, um, bringing us a bed, you, you know, it was wonderful. And the, the, the plane ride was so smooth. I felt like I was living in the air or something. <laughs> there was no turmoil, you know, all those things, bumps, and, you know, we were just enjoying it. The, the Lord was so good. So I thank God for his mercies. And then my favorite thing to do, you know, with the children, uh, a brother that was once with her here at Aristin started a ministry in Nigeria for children. So uh, I contacted him and I wanted to see the children. There were like about 100 of them. So we went to see them and uh, we talked to them. We interacted with them. We, we uh it was a wonderful experience to have those children, you know, pray, and we taught them about prayers and so on. So it's, it was a really, really fruitful uh, journey that we went to. And then the brethren, you know, the fellowship, the praise, the worship, it was amazing. So what can I say unto the Lord? And every time, not only that first time that the rain stopped, every time we went out, as soon as we get back home, the rain will start. If we were out, there would be no rain. When we get back, then the rain will start. It will, it, and the rain there, you know what it is. This is not rain here. The rain was pouring. It's like pouring everywhere, flooded. So if you're outside under that rain, you don't, you, you don't want that. So um, I want you to thank God that he is watching out for everything that we do. You know, the preparation, the um, and not even the weapons, you know, this, the Bible said the weapons form against you. The weapon will form. It will form. People can form weapons, but it will not prosper. It will not prosper. So you have no control about people forming weapons against you. Whether physical or spiritual, no matter what weapon, but it will not prosper. That's what God promised you. And if you hold on, if we take the word of God literally, and see that this will not prosper. Instead of saying, oh, somebody, that weapon will not prosper. Even if it's, even weapon of sickness or disease, if it comes in any form, whether it's sickness formed, you say, I believe, it will not prosper in your body, in Jesus' name. So every weapon that has been formed, whether we know it or we don't know it, did not prosper. So that is my testimony, and I thank God for bringing us here Thank the brethren for praying, for standing in the gap, and uh, we give the God the glory for our safe arrival in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's put our hands together for the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, praise the Lord. Praise him. Can you come back? Can you come back, please? Let's come back. Thank God for those testimonies. Praise Him. Come on back quickly. Do a quick praise song for me before I share a short exhortation. Um. Praise God. Praise God. You guys go ahead. Do whatever you want to do. Whatever song. But let it be a good uh, praise song.
God. You are not just big, oh. You are not just large, oh. You are a great God. You are God. You are not just Sous-titrage 